I'm Ringer, and this is my prospecting journal. Come on, let's go prospecting. Welcome to Ringer's Prospecting Journal. Today we're going to do a little cleanup of our equipment. I'm going to clean out my uh, Miller table, take all the cons that are in there, and then I'm going to uh, run that through my cleanup sluice and then rerun it on the Miller table. I did some adjustments to it and we'll see just how much gold that I've been missing from blowing it off the end of my Miller table. So stay tuned and I'll show show you what we're going to be doing here in just a second. All right, folks, you see I got my uh, bucket of cons from the Miller table. And uh, a little bit too much material to, uh, material to be running on the Miller table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it through my uh, little six inch cleanup sluice here. I got uh, Micro Dream Mat in there, and uh, we'll run this through a couple times just to make sure if there's any gold in there that we capture it. We'll do a cleanup and then we'll run it on the middle of the table. Since this is a bunch of concentrates, there's a lot of black sands in here, so I'm gonna. Speed it kind of slow and uh, see what kind of action and stuff in there. I am running this at 64% for the speed controller for the water pump, so should do pretty good. All right, so we'll get this stuff running through the, the equipment here, and uh, when I take this over to the middle table, I'll bring it back on. All right, so I got the material ran two times through the cleanup sluice, doing the uh, micro dream mat. Uh, got carried over after all that material. And I got, I say, roughly. A tablespoon and a half, whatever it concentrates from that. So we're going to run it across the Miller table here and we'll see what we can find. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to uh, attempt to do a quick pan back here and and just see if there's if you can see any gold, there's actually quite a bit of material as far as for doing the pan back. But we're just going to uh, pan this back real quick and see if we can uh, see anything in there. And actually there is some gold in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. The water's kind of dirty, but uh, there's a piece right there, right there, right here. I'm not exactly sure what that is. But uh, yeah, we'll get this on the middle of the table. And let's 
see what we can get. So I did do some adjustments to uh, slow the flow of the water down. So hopefully any of the smaller gold that I might have blown out before will actually stay on the table this time. This uh, pop the holes there for the vials underneath. When I'd have any air bubbles that interfere with the gold, that I might sweep up into them. So I'm only doing a little bit at a time. As I said, I did slow this down a little bit. To hopefully trap the gold up on top. As you can see, uh, there's a couple pieces of gold right there. They actually almost look kind of silverish. But uh, actually made three quarters of the way down the table before it dropped out. So I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Has anybody ever seen this phenomena before? And on the edge of the Miller table. It almost looks like it's uh, gold caught right on the edge, floating around in some type of eddy. That is weird. If you get, I can get that focused in. It's like a little bit of air bubbles and a couple pieces of gold. Interesting. So all you people who are familiar with the Miller table will understand this already, but uh, this is for the ones that uh, have never seen a Miller table in use before. So what happens is I have a very thin sheet of water getting pumped through the axe pump here coming out and it creates like a mirror going across the surface of the table. So what happens is you put your concentrates on there, since gold is since gold is a lot heavier than the material that it's mixed with, if you have it classified down so everything is relatively close to the same time, the gold will sink to the bottom of the table. And gold is hydrophobic, which means it repels water. So the gold will hit the table and it'll get stuck there and the, and the water will flow around it and over it, pushing the lighter material or stuff that's lighter than gold away from it and off the table. You can see that in the action here where you got the uh, stream of material here getting pulled across. Let's widen that out here. From up there, you see the long streaks. That's from the water flow pushing the material away and off into the bottom and into the catch pan. So one of the nice things about Miller tables, you don't want to disturb it too much. But if you ever get to like where you're at this point and very little bit is happening, you can take a paintbrush, move everything back up to the top, kind of concentrate it again. But it also breaks it up a little bit and allows the water to capture the light stuff and move it off the table some more. There's multiple ways you can do that. Uh, I have this set up at a workbench. You can tap the workbench. A little bit of vibration will, will move stuff along. Tap the table. Does the same thing. Uh, even using the tip of the paint brush. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not. But you see like the little V-like waves that this is making. Well, that creates a disturbance. 
and it kind of pushes the material around just using the pressure from the waves from the, the, the brush. see there's a piece of gold stuck there so this is the uh, less of the material only a few pieces of gold in it which is surprising I thought uh, would have had a lot more that would have blown off uh, when I was running before I said I was running this table with a little bit uh, more angle which increases the speed of the water going across it so I thought I would have blown more gold off the table into the catch pan but uh, only found a couple little pieces uh, nothing real major so all right all right here's the results from going through the concentrates again you got a small piece there like four or five pieces there a couple are bigger ones and small and another one there so overall I was actually surprised I thought there would have been a lot more so, all right, the miller table seemed to be doing its job before, even though I was running it a little bit faster. But uh, it's nice to be able to uh, rerun the material again and even get more gold. So we'll just keep on doing it. Well, there you have it, folks. This is a short video of doing the cleanup from the concentrates from the miller table and rerunning them to see if we could find any more gold in there. Uh, found a couple pieces, but uh, not a lot. Not as many as I thought we would. But i uh, got some exciting stuff coming up in the future. I know it's been a while since I posted anything. Uh, in the end of September, Mrs. Ringer and I are going to go up to Lake Superior Beach Mining on the Michigan side of the border this time. Uh, we're going to be stand, spending a week up there. And uh, we're going to run some of those uh, Lake Superior black sands and hopefully get some Lake Superior gold. I want to thank Jason from uh, Flower Gold Wizard for... Uh, Giving me some pointers, I reached out to him, asked some questions, and I uh, also like to say uh, thanks to Phil from uh, Freedom Prospecting. I reached out to him also and asked him a bunch of questions. Uh, it's the first time we've been up on uh, Lake Superior on the Michigan side, running recirculating systems, uh, so it should be fun. We'll see what we get, and uh, that'll be a future video uh, coming towards the... Uh, uh end of september probably won't put the videos out until uh, october sometime um uh, but uh, until then this is ringer and uh remember if you like the video to uh, like subscribe and share and click the bell icon to receive future notifications on other videos until then god bless everybody